Well, this right here was the scene after troopers say two street racers caused two crashes on Pine Hills Road in Orange County. Both of those drivers are now facing charges. Channel 9 Steve Barrett is live there tonight. Steve, you talked with an eyewitness who said it sounded like a jet landing on the road. Yeah, that would have been those uh, men coming down this road. The bus pulled out right here where you see this other bus pulling in there. The men were coming down Pine Hills Road, coming toward the camera here. That's when one of these vehicles collided with the bus. The other vehicle slammed right into this house where that board is. There's a big hole there. The residents here say their pet was nearly killed. It's not like it was a jet going down Pine Hills Road. Linda Hunter is describing the sound of two drivers allegedly racing. Then came the crash that left one of the cars wedged under a school bus last night. It was like under the bus, the whole car, like every from the back, from the front seat all the way up was under the car. The second car slammed into a house. The resident did not want to talk on camera, but showed us the living room where they say their puppy was nearly killed. Under the bus, Destiny Bowers says she realized the driver and a woman were trapped. I was going to help him, but I, I noticed like he was stuck. It's like, help, help. Bowers says one of the drivers told her they were racing on Pine Hills Road. That's when troopers say the bus pulled out in front of the cars as they sped over a hill. The drivers were ID'd as Deshaun Penny and Riaz Zaman both 19 years old. You heard the cars going fast and then the wreck. You could even hear people screaming. FHP snapped this haunting picture of the scene after the Honda was cut apart to extract the critically injured driver and passenger. And the bus driver was not injured, nor was the driver who slammed into this wall right here, but he has been charged with reckless driving at this point. Reporting live in Pine Hills, Steve Barrett, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.